want to take you to San Francisco Airport. We've told you that uh, U.S. Korean War vet Merrill Newman, who has been held against his will in North Korea while on a trip there and upon departure from his trip. And now he's gotten through customs there at the San Francisco Airport. You're seeing the camera zoom in on him. Let's listen to what he has to say. Uh, I want to thank the Swedish embassy in Pyongyang and the American embassy in Beijing for all their help. It's, uh, it's been a great, great homecoming, and uh, I'm tired, but uh, uh, ready to be with my family now. And uh, thank you all for the support we got, and uh, very much appreciate it. Mr. Uh, Newman won't. He did get through customs there. Still unclear why North Korea decided to suddenly deport him after he was held for six weeks there. Uh, he had a 10-day trip, a tourist trip there in North Korea. And then suddenly while he was on the plane about to return back to the States, authorities got on the plane, took him off, and then he was detained for six weeks in all. His family was very worried about him with a heart condition there. Uh, they did eventually get some medicine to him, but he had to read an apology, an apology for his involvement in the Korean War uh, just a few days ago, and then mysteriously he was now released. The North Korean government saying that uh, he was deported, but still unclear exactly what took place uh, to grant his freedom. Uh, all right, well, uh, there he is now. San Francisco Airport. He's now going to be heading to Palo Alto to um, resume his life, hopefully with his wife there.